All right, first thing you need to do is create account with DigitalOcean. If you click below the link on this video, um, it will take you to the DigitalOcean's website. I do get a sponsored commission from this link, but it helps me make these tools for you. So just put your email here and password here and create account and that's it. So once you've created your um, DigitalOcean account, you can create a server by clicking this create droplet button. Once you come to the create droplet page, you just want to give your droplet a name, so I'm just going to call this one Jupyter. Next, you want to set your server size, and I'm just going to choose $5 a month hosting, because you can always upgrade later. Next, you want to select the region where your business is based, so you can, if you're in America, you select, um, you would select America if your business is based there, Europe, Amsterdam, or Germany, or if you're in Asia, uh, Singapore. So I'm just going to select London. Now, if you want backups for your website, you choose this option. It's a 20% cost you 20% extra on your hosting, but it's always best to be safe and sorry. For select image, just click on this uh, application button and then you'll see the latest version of Jupyter. For add SHH key, I've included a link below this video, which will take you to a YouTube video where you can see how to install it on Mac. For PC, I'm going to, you need to go to putty.org. There you need to click on this here button and you need to download this option which is called Putty Gen. Just click on it here. We just click on open, click on run and we'll see um, the Putty key gen generator. Click on generate and you just have to move your mouse around here and you see it makes the green line go across so that was a fun. And now it's starting generating our key. Okay, so once the key is generated, we want to give it a password. So I'm just going to go here and just for example, I'm just going to copy this and put that in there and put that in here. Next thing I want to do is generate a private key. So just click on generate and do the same again. Loads of fun, just like scribbling around here. <laughs> Okay, so that's now generated the private key for us. Now we need to, we just put the same password for these here. Put that there, put that there. So next we want to save our public key and private key. To do that, we just click on save public key. Make a, go go on the folder where you know it's got to be. So I'm just going to go on my desktop. So it's easy to find. And just put call this keys. And just click in here. And just give call this public key and then just save it and then you will click on the save private key and then just click on save again okay so once we've done that we need to add our key here so just click on here go back to keygen and we're just going to see this is the public key we're just going to copy this make sure it's all highlighted in blue just double check and paste it in here and then we just go give our key a name so let's find out where we can give it a title maybe just um, call this um, and then click on add shh key and you can see it's created here so i'm just going to click oh sorry created there i mean so just make sure it's highlighted i'm going to highlight that one because the old key i have so just make sure it's highlighted and click on create droplet and now a droplet's been created for us. So to see our new droplet, just copy the IP address and paste it into your browser and you'll see our new Jupyter website set up. To get access to the um, username and password, you need to go to your command line again. And I this time for, I'm just gonna download Putty. There you go, open up Putty, uh, click on run. Then you want to go to where it says SHH, open that up, go to authentication, go and browse, go to and find the keys we downloaded earlier. So we're just going where well, I put those as keys. And you want to select the private key and then you want to click on open. And then you want to go up to where it says sessions and you want to. Um, then you want to copy the IP address and go back to Putty and you want to copy the IP address in here 
and then just give it a name, say Jupyter website, and click on save. And then you will select the Jupyter website and click on load and then open. Now we want to select yes for this because we want to know it. Then you just want to put a username which is always root. And then it says authentication of a key. So that was the password we saved early on. We just copy that up, paste it in here. And we have access. And here's our Jupyter username and password. So I'll just show you that works. Just go back to Putty. And just copy this in there. Don't really need to do that, but we'll do it anyway. And copy the password into here and log in. And there you go. So thank you for watching my video. If you found it helpful, uh, please like this video. Or if you want to get more updates, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, I'd be most grateful if you like to share this video on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. And if you want to visit my website, uh, my link's there. Or if you have any questions or comments or anything you want help with or tool suggestions, yeah, please leave a comment. I do get back to people who reply to me and um, I'm always happy to help you. So thanks for watching again and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.